We need some help. We need some help. Residents of a mobile home park called WRTV for help. They say they were given a month to vacate the park and find somewhere else to live after some have lived there for 30 years. Our Stephanie Wade speaks with them tonight to see what, if anything, can be done. According to this notice to vacate, residents here at the El Lu Mobile Home Park are given until November 30th to move out. The mobile home ceasing all operations, the letter being sent to residents on just October 26th. I was very angry. Yeah, Thanksgiving is a couple days before. Just days after Thanksgiving, Lynette Parks and about 20 other families who live at the El Lu Mobile Home Park right next to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, are expected to vacate the property. Our home currently has been in um, my husband's family since the 80s. In this letter sent to residents by Speedway Properties, all utilities and additional services will be terminated on December 15th. It's not fair. It's ridiculous. And it's, it's unfathomable and it's unobtainable. Parks says many who live in the mobile home park are on social security and are in desperate need of help to relocate. We don't have a plan. I don't think any one of these people have a definitive plan. With just weeks now to leave, residents are pleading. We need some help. We need some help. Stephanie Wade, WRTV. We called on Speedway Properties and left a voicemail but have not heard back from the owners. We also reached out to the Attorney General's office to see what they can do to help these residents. The Indiana Attorney General's office has the authority to and has previously litigated consumer-related issues involving mobile home parks. They say they have not received any consumer complaints against either El Lu Mobile Home Park or Speedway Properties. However, any residents or consumers who believe that they have been or are being treated unlawfully are encouraged to file a consumer complaint with the AG's office.